What's going on guys? It's Jason here and in today's video, I'm doing something I've never done before. Um, I woke up this morning and I was feeling really like inspired and creative today. So you guys are going to come along for a ride with me. Um, I don't have much time to talk about it now because I'm running late. Let's get on it and I'll talk as we go. So first of all, you guys are gonna be hanging out with me all weekend. I'm, I, I'm actually going on a trip, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but I actually am running late, um, so I need to get packed up. Let's do it. So I'm sure you guys wanna know what's happening. So I'm currently on my way to a wedding rehearsal. I got asked to play keys at a wedding and it's about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes away. So I'm on my way there and I thought why not kind of like do a vlog about it and then uh, I'm gonna write a song uh, while I'm on this trip and you guys are gonna kind of hang out with me and be part of that process with me. I just want to inspire you guys to uh, make your own songs and write your own music and be creative. I also just want to take you guys along for the ride and um, show you guys my creative process on the road and stuff as well. So before I start this weekend off right, um, I'm super duper hungry, so hang on, getting a call. Anyway, so I'm super duper hungry and I think I'm gonna hit up some Burger King. I'm feeling some Burger King right now and I normally don't eat Burger King but just today's a weird day and you gotta start off right with some bird king, you know what I'm saying? So let's do it. So while I'm smashing this burger, I'm gonna start listening to music and see kind of what genre I want to go for this weekend and uh, what style of music I want to pick because I have really no idea what I want to go for. So I think I'm gonna go for more of like a EDM style and like do more like a dance music style. I haven't picked like a subgenre yet of electronica, but I think that's kind of what I want to go for. Kind of on the being inspired as a creator part of this video. It's as a creator, it's really hard for me to be inspired if I don't um, have other ideas to kind of bounce off of. So I like listening to other other songs and just kind of getting inspired from just listening to other people's music. And uh, I really highly recommend you do that as a creator. So I'm gonna continue eating and listening to music. All right, so one thing I picked up in like the first 30 minutes of this drive, I do not recommend uh, vlogging and driving because it's uh, not safe to say the least, but it is fun. It is fun. So we have rehearsal tonight, so I'm gonna go set up and play rehearsal. And then I'm gonna head back to the hotel and see if I can set up a small recording rig and start writing some music. So I just showed up to where the wedding's gonna be, and this is this is insane. It's like this huge mansion, and inside they sell wine, and down the basement they have these wine cellars with these huge like probably 10 foot barrels and there's just rows and rows of these 10 foot barrels. Uh, it's, it's insane, I just gotta show you guys. All right, this place is actually, this place is awesome. And like you guys saw it, it's just incredible in here. The lighting's really bad though. And so I'm sorry about the crappy lighting, but it looks insane. So we got rehearsal in like half an hour. I'm here with Joe Lammers. This guy is our violinist. Hey guys. This guy is killer. He has an incredible voice and he actually auditioned for America's Got Talent and he, <laughs> he did does. really, really well. But he always plays, or he plays violin as well. And so that's what he's doing for this, this wedding. And so we're gonna practice a little bit and jam out and you guys can just sit in on that. So 
So talking again about like inspiration and stuff, like Joe's one of those guys that when you get around him, you get inspired. And that's kind of brings me to one of my things I want to talk about is like when you when you're trying to be creative and you want to be inspired, just surround yourself by people who love what you're trying to be inspired in. And then you'll kind of feed off that and get inspired yourself. Because like for me, if I hang around with Joe, it's just like, oh man, I can do all these things and I might play things differently than I would if he wasn't there. Or he might do the same thing. He might sing a performance differently if I'm playing than if he's just doing it by himself. So being surrounded by people who love what you do and what they do, I think that's super duper important. So I just got back to the hotel and I think I'm gonna set up my keyboard and get started and make some music. It's about 9.15, 9.16 right now. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to jump right into it. And here we have it guys, the mobile recording rig. We got our laptop set up here running Logic, we got our keyboard, I'm running a small audio interface just for high quality audio output and let's get to recording. So what you guys heard during that time lapse is about two and a half hours of work. Um, it's about 12.30 right now and I think I'm going to wrap up working on this song anyway. Um, I have songs to learn for Sunday and I have a video to make for another wedding that's next week. So I was about ready for bed and I'm craving ice cream really bad and I realized that there's a McDonald's right across the parking lot. The lobby's definitely closed and I'm not about to drive my truck over there to go through the drive-thru. So I think I'm just gonna walk through the drive-thru and I hope I don't get in trouble. I'm gonna grab my GoPro and go for it. Yeah, I'm definitely going for it. It's literally just like right here across the parking lot. Anyone there? I'm bummed about that one. So I don't know if that was a smart idea or not. I'm guessing probably not. I'm still craving ice cream though, and I probably should just go to bed. It's like after two o'clock, but I really want ice cream, and I feel like this is a priority right now, and it's gotta happen. I ain't giving up that easy. I'm grabbing my keys. I'm gonna drive over there and get ice cream. That's what it takes. <laughs> I hope you guys could hear that. There's, there's a whole family in there, and they're all fighting. Fun fact, it was so, it's so late that they won't let you back in, so I had to put a wedge in the door on my way out so I could get back in the hotel. Um, it's probably fine. Alrighty guys, it's the next day here and I need to get out of here, check out, and head over to the wedding spot and set up and get ready for the wedding. So let's do it. So I just got here to the wedding venue and I gotta take all my gear in and set up. But I was just thinking about last night's writing and I listened back to that song this morning. One thing I hear a lot of people say when they are getting into writing is they have no idea where to start. Like, I don't know where to start, what chords to play and all this stuff. I never really understood that because I always have ideas running through my head um, like oh this would sound cool or whatever but I do get in musical ruts a lot especially if it's a project that I'm not super excited about so one thing I always do to get out of those like ruts is start with a chord progression when you're writing a brand new song you just got to start with the chords what you can do is pick like a four chord progression or a five chord progression say you're working in the key of C so pick the one four five and six and just randomly mix them up in really any order of those will probably work. By picking random patterns like that, you'll start to hear things and start to hear ideas that just kind of pop in your head as you're playing those. And my kind of next step for that is rhythm. So I always throw down 
a chord progression, and then a rhythm. And like that really sets the tone for the whole track and then everything else just kind of falls into place from there. So one thing you'll find the more and more you write songs, you'll kind of just start to regurgitate the same ideas over and over. One way that I combat that is uh, changing the timing of the chords. By changing the timing of the chords, it gives the whole song a different feel, and it's gonna make you do different musical decisions just because of the timing of the chords. So yeah, that's just a few ideas to help when you write your own song. That was a really good wedding. Um, so I'm gonna head home, I got work tonight and I have to get up for church at five o'clock tomorrow. I'm gonna continue working on that song I wrote last night. I'm gonna make sure to have you guys sit in on that. I'm ready to get out of here, let's go. Alrighty, I'm back in the studio and ready to finish this song. song mixed and mastered so I guess that's gonna be about it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and were inspired to create your own music on your own and yeah hope you guys had a good time along the way if you'd like to check out the full song the link will be in the description also there'll be cards here on screen where you can click to listen to the full song that I wrote this weekend if you enjoyed this video I would encourage you to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content and with that being said thank you guys again for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one Actually, fun fact, it's about 2 in the morning right now, and I'm leaving in 3 hours for the road. I'm going on tour with a band, and we have a 10-hour drive tomorrow, and I have yet to pack for this trip. I'm definitely pulling an all-nighter with a 10-hour drive tomorrow, so that's going to be fun. But tour is going to be awesome, and it's going to be a really good time. Anyway, we'll see you later.